We're in Pixlr Editor today and we're going to open an image from computer. We're going to open the image of the um, haunted house. So let me see if I can find it. Okay, there it is. And it's a classic black, but you can make it any color you want. If you want to make it a different um, color, you just use the paint bucket. And there you go. I'm going to keep mine classic black. Now what I'm going to ask for you to do is to put something in the windows. You could put different characters in the windows. You could put, um, well, like a ghost or a witch or anything. Um, I've saved some. I got some um, images. And I'm going to go up to Layer. And I'm going to go down to Open Image as Layer. And I'm going to find it. And first I'm going to use this mummy. I'm going to click and open the mummy. And there it is. It's pretty big though. So to make it smaller, I'm going to go up to Layer. Oh, I'm going to go up to Edit. Sorry. Go to Edit. And down to Free Transform. And I'm just going to shrink it a little bit. Make it so that I can fit it in. So. Oops, yes, I want to apply the changes and then I can just move it over there, kind of sitting on the windowsill there. And that looks good, but let me try another one. I'm going to go up to Layer, Open Images Layer, and now I've got this Frankenstein. Okay, and he's a little bit big, so I'm going to go up to Edit and down to Free Transform. I'm going to make it go a little smaller. Now, as you'll notice, um, yes, yeah, apply the changes. This is white around the edges, so that's not going to work quite as well. Um, so you can look for images that are transparent, or you could try this. Go over to the magic wand, click on the wand, and then you're going to click on the white. It really only works if it's a solid color, or it works the best if it's a solid color. So I clicked on the white, and now I'm going to click Alt and backspace on my um, Chromebook. So there he is. Now he still has those, da those dancing lines, so I'm going to hit Control D. You might not need this, but you might. And um, I'm going to move him down. He's still kind of big. So I'll go up to Edit and Free Transform. And whoops. Yes, apply it. Then I can move him after I change it. So I can put him in the window. I guess I could put him on the ground. Um, but I want you to make your characters look um, in scale with the castle. Um, you need at least four different characters. Um, if you want to, um, you can you can have them be you know black and white. They can be colored. They can be spooky. They can be funny. But anyway, you're going to um, add an images layer to this, and then you're going to go up to File, and then you're going to go down to Save. And you can save it as a JPEG. Um, a JPEG works well. So I'm just going to name this with characters. Haunted House with characters, and I'll click OK. And once I save it, I'm going to go back to Google Classroom, and I'm going to um, click Add, and I'm going to add the file and turn it in that way, and I'm going to ask that you also add it to the slideshow. Good luck!